Greetings, John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner, and what I have for you today is a look four years into the past, back when I owned my old car, pre-1973 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. I had my black 1970-70 Ford LTD, and there's work that I did to it that I never even got to show you, and I'm so behind in my videos that I must catch up now. So bear in mind two things. One, I don't own this car anymore. It's gotten sold to somebody who sold it to somebody else who posted it on YouTube and then sold it to a third person. So for all I know, it's out of the country. Second thing is we are going back in time to February and March of 2018. So it's July of 2022 now. That was over four years ago. So without further ado, let's go back in time. Uh, you can see by my folders here that we're going to uh, involve ourselves a little bit more than a month's span of time between February 7th and uh, March the 12th. And we're going to basically be discussing everything that happened to the front grill and toward the end the passenger side mirror so let's get started with february 7th and see what we had and we started late in the day 4 55 p.m probably a project i should have uh, started sooner and we look at where i taped off carefully you know 90 percent of painting is the prep the painting is the 10 percent that's the easiest the prep and the taping off are all the areas you don't want getting hit with paint is the hard part. This is black spray paint. So I wanted to fill in all the areas that you can see like over here on the passenger side is chrome. I All these chrome areas I did up in painter's tape. I blocked off with newspaper. The grill that would be gotten later, but not yet. And of course, the chrome bumper in the front, I don't want that turned black at all, uh, as well as the side of the fender. And the behind area behind the headlights, we don't want those hit, as well as back over here. And then the Ford logo in the headlight door, I didn't want hit. So what was I trying to do here? Uh, see this section here that got faded. Uh, this is supposed to be nice deep black and I suppose back in 1970 it was but here you could see almost uh, 50 years later that that was no longer the case it had faded and and even these uh, egg crate squares were starting to fade a little bit so the goal was to go and paint it black and shake the spray paint can between 4 55 p.m and 5.07 p.m. and there we go. Like I said, the painting's the easy part. That was the fun part, spraying this away. Uh, the hood was up, of course, but I lowered it so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And here you can see that I got all the area, the, the tray here that was faded gray is now a nice deep black. These had silver stripes to them. Look, see, it was silver and that tur it turned out that that was tape silver tape not silver paint so i actually painted over tape that would start to peel and i would have to remove the peel the, the peeling tape and start over again but we'll talk about that a little bit later and uh, we move to the next one and you can see the difference um, an appreciable difference between what's on the right hand side the passenger passenger side, I should say passenger, the driver's side has already been completed. You know, I could almost have left it like this and it was pretty sinister looking, uh, but I would end at the day. I would end it right at that point because it was 542 and this, it was actually getting much darker than it appears. So it was time to stop. And with that, we'll pause and uh, talk about the next day. Now it's time to turn our attention to the next day, February 8th. And as we go in here, you can see that I'm done with the main painting of the grill pieces outside. And now it was time to tape off the headlights and get everything behind the headlight door, uh, the back of the headlight uh, bucket or cavity, as it were. 
so we not only got the tray on the outside, but we also got the tray pieces on the inside. And by darkening this, it serves to create a greater sense of contrast between the headlights. When I take the tape off, you'll see what I mean. Uh, they'll pop uh, more uh, readily as far as contrast goes versus uh, the passenger side where you see that that gray background that's sun faded or dirty or whatever it is it doesn't create a very good contrast this is going to create a much better contrast so with that we'll stop for february 8th and move on to the next day and we now move on to february 9th and here we go after i pulled off the tape you can see what this does you've got this nice sharp contrast between the silver behind the glass bulbs the silver retaining ring and boom that black uh, background just really sticks out those headlights really stick out there and look sharp and and there's a perfect example of it looks kind of faded and gray behind the ones on the passenger side but it looks fresh and black behind the ones on the driver's side and when both of them look that way it's going to be sharp so let's look at one other thing oh and we lower the headlight door this is what it looks like now i still have to take silver paint and paint these lines again if this looks whitish or silver it's only because it's semi-gloss paint that's reflecting the skylight on from the black surface from the surface and and reflecting light and makes it look lighter than it really is but this is really all painted black uh, this strip here is the same color as this over here uh, the ford logo i cannot uh, replace that without replacing the entire headlight door which I'll show you is very expensive in another in another picture uh, but I have an idea I have an idea on how to bring back that red look and keep the Ford logo there and freshen it up without actually changing it and there's the comparison between the side that hasn't been painted yet or sprayed versus the side that has and it's coming it's coming together and this is the Ford logo that I had taped off you can see the tape marks uh, from around where I sprayed this part of the headlight door but preserved this part and like I said I'm, I'm gonna take care of that uh, when the time comes so that's uh, February 9th and we'll move on to the 10th and it's time to move on to February 10th and now basically I'm doing everything I did on the driver's side it's just time to do the same on the passenger side pretty academic I should already have a good idea what I'm doing uh, based on the fact that I've already done it before and you can see the fade marks on the passenger uh, side headlight door tray uh, they almost seems worse on this side than it did on the outside on the left side see what I did well I think I'm just showing where I taped off and from different angles comparing the left side that's already complete to the side that has yet to be done and once again doing the same thing this is silver tape none of this has been sprayed yet you can see how white or dirty and faded the squares are in the egg crates and now I just finally sprayed at 511 let's see whether it was taken a 421 almost 50 minutes later there we go and it's fully sprayed down and again remember that this is not white this is semi-gloss black reflecting skylight now the two sides just about match but remember I'm gonna have to raise this headlight door and get the passenger side headlights like I got the driver's side headlights it's 531 it's getting dark so I would move this to the inside with a little bit of extra in, uh, artificial light you can see that it looks really black and sleek looking uh, a little blurry and out of focus but none the worse for wear and things only move up and improve from here
We move on to February 11th, which I believe was a Sunday. And here we go. You can start to see the problems we had. Uh, the tape started coming undone. And you can see that the top of the tape had been spray painted, but as soon as it peeled off, or I peeled it off because it was just hanging there, it was white plastic underneath. See, unbeknownst to me, I thought that it was silver paint. If it was silver tape, the tape covered what was painted white naturally. I would have to go back and respray this. It was a little setback, but not too much of one. You can see that it really opened this up and, and destroyed my all black look. Uh, something I wasn't counting on. Here you can see by 138, I had resprayed it and completed uh, painting the bare plastic without the tape over it, the, the silver tape, and I was done. And now we move on to February 12th. Yes, February 12th. And we can see that there's only one picture and not a very good one taken with artificial light. And all I've shown here is that I taped off the passenger side headlights and sprayed the, the back of the cavity and everything under the headlights to make it a uniform black. And I would suspect that in the next day that I show this, show pictures, I'll show you what the two sides look like. And it's time to move on to February 15th. Ah, there we go. You can see that I've carefully painted the silver on the lines, making sure not to hit, not to hit the little egg squares in the middle. And, and that took a little bit more time and patience than I thought it would. And you can see that this really not, creates a nice contrast with the squares. You know, I could have almost left it like this on the passenger side like I said that would have given it a really mean aggressive sinister look but I wanted to uh, bring it back to standard look as much as possible now I've seen some people I went on the internet to get different examples of how to do this I saw some people that actually painted each individual inner square with the silver and I think that would have been too much it would have made it look too busy uh, so this is just the right amount of busyness. This maybe not busy enough. This just right. And this is a head-on view. And again, you can see the difference, how good this looks. This looks good, but we're going to silver it out. There's just the passenger side. This picture taken February 15th at 551. And I put a circle right here to show you how nice and dark that is. And then we go back in time, one and a half years or whatever it was, to November 2016. And again, you can see back then how, uh, how faded that was. That's not too unlike the before and after pictures I showed you from early February, but still in all, uh, a, a good comparison. Now, uh, what I want to do is go back. The date is way off track. I don't know how it got Wednesday, May 30th, but... Uh, this is the metallic silver paint that I used to paint the grill tines and it worked out really nice. And now let's move to the last day of February, the 28th. It looks like not the best picture in the world, but I had gotten some red testers paint like you get at the hobby store to paint models. And I just measured out and taped off the part that said Ford and just put in some nice thin red lines. What was supposed to happen is everything around this was supposed to be silver and only the portion behind the Ford letters were supposed to be red. But I wasn't about to spend the money it was going to cost to replace this whole headlight door just to get a new Ford logo. So all I would have, I started with the top and bottom and then all I'd have to do is get the ends left and right and I'd be all set. So uh, for some reason that was the only picture on February 28th, we'll move on to the next day. And it's time to move on to March the 3rd. And you can see that's what it looked like when I finished. 
just putting a red square it almost looks like the National Geographic symbol only that's a yellow square instead of a red one but basically the same idea there we go that's a better look you can see the nice black paint you can see the silver paint and you can see the sharpness of the red offering a great contrast between the silver and the black silver black red and let me back up and show you what it was supposed to look like if I had bought a new one online and you can see that it's supposed to be black around the edges and within the Ford inside this square was supposed to be red but to replace two of these headlight doors on eBay was going to cost $430 and I said forget that for a little bit of testers paint and a willingness to accept the fact that it's not perfect I can do just as good a job on my own and now it's time to move on to March 7th look at this you can really see the texture of the paint really clearly again not perfect I missed an area over here but you know from far away you know who's gonna know right from far away zoomed in not too shabby and I finished the silver paint on both sides and the car is looking very sharp got most of what I wanted done again there it is slightly offset from the left side looking right head on another view of the Ford logo uh, from the left looking slightly right the only thing it still needs to be done now is we're going to address this nose part of the grill and it is now March the 8th and we are let's expand this a little bit we are taping off the center grill and making sure that we don't hit any of what we just did because I don't want to do that over again and I don't want to hit the license plate or the bumpers I want to hit anything behind it and I'll show you closer what I'm trying to do kind of hard to see but what I'm trying to do is these tines that are hard to see you can't see them right now the forward facing ones are silver so I taped these off so I could hit them it'll make more sense and I'll show you here let's have a look the whole thing is silver this edge is silver and these tops are this is pot metal that's faded and I really want that to pop and be as contrasting as this black uh, so I want here I'll show you I want this surface to stay silver or as close to it as possible pot metal silver natural color and then I want the tops and the bottoms to be black okay this is just another example of me taping it off I'm not quite done yet uh, oh I know what I was doing I had to do one section at a time oh yeah it's all coming back to me this was tedious ah uh, see this is where I spray painted to get the just the top and block that side like I said it'll make more sense when we look at it the, the finished product and then we jump ahead to March 11th this is the final day of our grill project and this is about as good an example as you can see I have left the forward facing part to the tines silver but painted the surfaces that are horizontal black whereas you can see here everything is silver uh, creating less of a contrast there's much more contrast silver and black whereas this is silver and silver wait till we get closer here we go that's it I went ahead taped off the silver part and nailed the tops black and this is what it used to look like 
I just thought it offered a better contrast, really popped and created the same theme of black and silver over here, whereas this, in comparison, looked like it was lacking contrast and uh, didn't stick out as well. There we go. No contrast, just pop metal silver. You can see the, the pop marks or the puck marks where the pot metal is uh, corroding. And then again, the silver with the black, nicely done, but very time consuming. And then the proof is in the pudding. It just looks like this is much more similar to this. And eventually I'll get both sides again. This almost looks whitewashed compared to this. And again, same thing, nothing different. Uh, this is probably the best example of where I painted and you can clearly see that I left the front silver and the top and the bottoms were black, uh, but I couldn't remove, I suppose I could have sanded this down but who knows what it would have exposed underneath or whether I would have cracked the pot metal. As it was, I lost one of these tines. So that was not good. And just more of the same thing. So there you go. And that's, once I completed the other side, that was it for the grill project. And the final thing I wanna show you is not directly related to the grill painting, but it was an improvement soon after the 11th, the next day, March 12th, I went and got installed a passenger side mirror for the car, which did not come standard. And you can see there it is mounted, but it's crooked because if you look closely, there isn't a divot in this ball and socket. So, I went to a jeweler to have him chisel out the, uh, the space necessary to prop this mirror up horizontally. And it was well after March, I believe it was April or so, it was the following month, but uh, I was able to fix that. In the meantime, here it is, vertical looking down. Crooked but usable crooked but usable. You can see looking down the side of the car, there's the handle in the garage door in the background. So there we go. That is February and March on the car. A sizable spread, but we got a lot done in that period of time in preparation for what would be the April Nights, cool April Nights car show coming up in Reading, which I was looking forward to. Okay, John O'Flaherty, the B3 burner. And when I come back with my next video, uh, we will be talking about painting the inside of the trunk. All right, you take care now.